Hello and welcome to another Supplier Diversity and Small Business Economic Impact Report. I'm your host, Jamie White. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. As always, please like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video or podcast and tell us what you think. Um, I do want to follow up last week by saying that we are still continuing to kind of do some different things when it comes to the weekly report. Uh, we're trying to make it somewhere between five and 10 minutes. Last week was about six or seven minutes. Uh, so again, once again, thank you for tuning in last week and join us as we continue making these a little bit shorter um, so that you can consume them quicker and, and go about your day. Today, uh, or this week, we are going to be covering the latest jobs report as well as a new small business administrator that has been selected or nominated by President Trump, and then lastly, kind of a new business tool that can be used for messaging. To start up, um, for the economy and the jobs that were added for the month of March, it appears that according to the U.S. Department of Labor, 196 jobs or 196,000 jobs were added in March, while unemployment stays at about 3.8%. Now, for all those who have been following the podcast, I know this is something that I've really been pushing. February was a really, really bad month. Um, I attributed that to the government shutdown. And one of the things that I consistently said was, let's wait until March. Let's wait until March to see where the economy is at, to see if the economy is slowing the way that we think because it's it's not growing it's it's not growing trust me but uh is it slowing down in terms of the growth so i guess is it speeding up but is it speeding up or is it slowing down in terms of the growth um, and as we can see it is slowing down however not to the extent in which people thought i'm looking at a usa today article where essentially um they point out that let me see if i can find it for you guys so many predicted the average monthly gains for the first quarter would be about 165,000. Um, however, because of the 196, that 196,000 that was added in March, uh, the first quarter is now averaging 180,000 um, jobs. So that's over what people predicted, about 15,000 people over what was predicted uh, for the first quarter month to month. In addition to that, I do want to point out if you're trying to compare it to last year, but last year the month to month average was about 223,000. So it has slowed, however, but not to the extent in which people um, thought. Uh, since this is greater than what people expected, um, if you're looking at interest rates, uh, Bank of America said that probably if the Federal Reserve had to make a decision. If they had to go either increase or decrease, they would probably increase because of how well we we're doing and we're better than what was expected. Um, labor force participation dipped a little bit. Uh, that just means um, less people are looking for jobs that are unemployed, uh, basically. Um, but this also means that not as many people were laid off as were expected, um, which is always a good thing. Um, wages did not increase. Um, as much as people um, expected. And then lastly, uh, one of the last things that you really want to, that I really want to point out here is that um, apparently March is usually where a lot of businesses uh, choose to hire. Um, so the fact that uh, it's around 180,000, or I'm sorry, 196,000, this may be one of the higher points uh, of the year. So that's something that you may want to want to take note. Next up, uh, since we know that about 196,000 people were hired, uh, we definitely want to also take a look at specifically what were small businesses doing at this time. Um, so we're going to take a look at the CBIZ report and then the ADP report. So according to the C CBIZ report, um, as you can see here, um, Friday, April 5th, that the index found small employers increased hiring in March by 0.16% on a seasonal adjusted basis following an increase of 0.09% in February. So again, up from February, uh, still growing, but not as high as um, was being hit last year. So a little bit of an increase, but but still down year to year, but that was to be expected. 
um, next up ADP. Um, <coughs> what ADP esti uh, estimated was that there would be 129,000 jobs, um, or I'm sorry, 197,000 jobs. So they were so they were very close uh, to that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, payroll processors ADP said Wednesday that businesses added 129,000 jobs last month. So for March, they added 129,000 jobs, uh, which was down for the previous month. However, um, if you look at the small businesses, they said that of the 129,000 jobs that were added for March, 6,000 of those were small businesses. Now, this is really big uh, because small businesses usually tend to add between 40 and 50 percent, especially last year, they added about 40 and 50 percent, which kept those those jobs increases uh, pretty high. So to go from that to, you know, 40 percent to dropping so low to, geez, I don't even think that is that that's what about that's less than 10 percent, uh, maybe around 5 percent is, is really big um, in terms of that drop. So interesting to note um, kind of what's going on there. Next up, uh, Trump wants U.S. Uh, Treasurer. Ooh, <laughs> Ovita Carenza, Carenza to lead small business to lead the small business administration. Um, if you're not aware, Linda McMahon retired. Uh, well, I don't want to say retired. Uh, she left uh, being the head of the small of the SBA Small Business Administration to go and work on uh, President Trump's Super PAC America First action in support of President's reelection campaign. Uh, so she's over there now. And because of that, they are uh, President Trump is now nominating the U.S. Treasurer uh, Hovita to replace her. Um, now she currently is under as the U.S. Treasurer. She's um, currently under the Treasurer Secretary Stephen Mun uh, Munich. Uh, however, she does have some experience when it comes to more so government pieces. Uh, she was at the UPS. Uh, beforehand. Um, I don't know if she has any experience when it comes to running a small business uh, or frankly a business of, of any kind, but uh, she has been nominated um, and that's kind of where <laughs> what's what's going to happen now. Uh, very interesting that uh, she does uh, she's the daughter of Mexican immigrants, which is I'm sure politically um, something that, that the president um, Kind of highly values in, in terms of you know what's going on with, with that aspect i don't get into politics however i mean this is a political um appointment so it, it does kind of make sense there um however that's probably most likely going to be the new head of the small business and i don't know much about her she hasn't really come out and said anything in terms of her future plans for the sba so there's not much i can tell you there uh, other than that's going to be the new nominee uh, and we'll kind of see where that goes uh Lastly, um, what's what's app uh, business launches for iOS, so basically like iPhones, uh, promising to help for small businesses. Um, if WhatsApp is more so for like international um, users, uh, maybe not not necessarily for American users who may use. If you're looking if you're looking at like a, a messaging app on your phone, maybe like a Kick um, or something like that. But yep, so so basically WhatsApp um, it launched for the Android in 2018. Um, in January, so now for 2019, um, it's launching now, and it's more so for businesses, uh, again, looking to connect with one another um, in, in that avenue. So if you're an international business, definitely take a look at that. So um, with that being said, that kind of covers everything um, for, for this week. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to the podcast. Please like and subscribe. Tell us what you think and share with your friends. With that being said, thank you and have a great day.